Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have a special guest clearly right next to me, my <laughs> lovely Canadian friend, Rachel from Rach Loves. And uh, we are gonna be digging through our <laughs> our miniature <laughs> travel <laughs> bag. <laughs> like this was supposed to be like, oh, how to like pack your makeup bag so it's not totally exploding. You're bringing like the whole kit with you, but somehow we both have like really a lot of stuff. Big bags. <laughs> it's not that bad. I mean, like really. I mean, it's only really half. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's right? half. We just it's have big hat. bags. Yeah, that's, that's fine. fine. Um, so we're gonna go through. Obviously, you know, these are all products that we would travel with, which means that they are favorites. And uh, just share with you how we choose to pack our makeup bags on the go. Because you're here from Canada. You just made a big trip out for BeautyCon, etc. I'm about to go to VidCon, which is not like, it's like an hour away. But I am going to be staying Still. in a hotel. And, you know, whether you're in a hotel or you are traveling to Europe, wherever, you know, you're going to have to bring your makeup with you if you're someone that wears makeup. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that can be like, eh, I want to pack it all, but I shouldn't. And... I'm already starting this really rambly, so let's just jump <laughs> right in. Diving in. Um, P.S. Over on Rachel's channel, which I am going to be linking below, uh, and you should totally subscribe to her. She's amazing. We go way, 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 way back. So many years. Um, so many, like, <laughs> like so many years. A long time. Um, yeah. <laughs> we did a travel tips video on her channel, so you want to go and check that out for all of our actual, like, tips and ways to feel great when you are traveling. But today here on my channel, we're just talking about makeup. So three, two, one, let's do this. Whoop, whoop. Okay, where do you You're want to start? You're the guest, you go. So the primer that I have been using and I have been loving is the uh, Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Smooth one. Um, really? This one is really good. Have you used this one yet? No, no it's so good. I think I tried it on my hand and I was like, Mm. I really like it on my face though. It kind of reminds me of this. You get the same effect that you would from the um, Benefit Cosmetics mm -hmm. Professional. Um, it just kind of blurs everything out. It smooths it all. It doesn't um, get all gloppy throughout the day. Mm -hmm. Gloppy, that's not a word. But yeah, it's fine. I totally fine. understand you know gloppy. What I'm saying, I get right? it. So I've been loving this one. It's a really nice. good one. What do you use? Yeah. Um, I'm going to skip right past that because I'm not using a primer. Oh. I know, right? <laughs> I was like, I have a big bag of primers and I was like the primer queen. I've taken a break from it for now. At BeautyCon, a lot of people were asking me, what's on your face? What foundation? What foundation? I'm like, doll 10. Like, I don't know where you can buy this. I had to go online and look. It's from QVC. I was sent this like four months ago. Finally tried it. Finally. And it has been like an everyday must, must, must have. And I don't use primer with it. You need go it. And buy this you need now. it in your life. It's hydro it's fluid. So good. Foundation drops. Okay, I'm gonna need that. This is gonna end poorly for me because now I'm gonna need to buy we're everything. Be, we're both making lists. <laughs> I actually have two, and I will tell you why. Uh, and it's like, I know, I know. High maintenance. <laughs> oh, things are happening. So um, I packed two, and the reason is because this is sort of a beauty con trip, and it's also like taking my family. I have a two-year-old daughter and my husband, so we're gonna go to like the beach because she's never been to the beach. Mm -hmm. So I kind of wanted to pack a, like an actual foundation and then just like a light BB cream for like going out yeah. and doing day trips. So and stuff, you're not right? like, hey, full glam at the beach. Yeah, because like which, nobody likes that. No, I mean, it, like sometimes. Maybe you like that and that's okay. We don't judge. But for no. me, I feel like it makes your face feel sticky in the heat. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, well, especially because I'm running around in like the water and everything, and like, yeah. like oh I'm like a God. full on like beach I can like, see myself like girl. coming out of the water with like full glam Whoa. face of makeup, <laughs> like streaks and like, and like oh, it's not no. cute. Raccoon eyes, not cute on anyone. <laughs> um, so the foundation that I've been using is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I've been really, really liking this one, especially for summertime. It's really light. I really like those light sort of um, weightless foundations. And then the other product I've been using is the Olay Fresh Effects BB Cream. Um, this is in light to medium, which I mean is, is perfect when I'm wearing salt tanner, um, but it has a nice like scent to it. Like almost perfumey, but like it evaporates nicely mm. on the skin. Like it, it doesn't- It smells like summer. It in smells like, like summer. Fresh, not not a coconut way, but in like a fresh way. Yeah, like a fresh, almost floral, but not floral yeah. kind of way. I, I don't like know how to describe it. it. Just got everything all in one, which is ideal. So I mean, if you only want to bring one product, this is like- That's the stuff. That's what I would bring. Okay. This is like my face essential right here, the foundation powder concealer. Now the concealer, I actually used this Time Balm anti-creasing, anti-wrinkle concealer on my lids to cancel out the veins 
lines and it also works as a beautiful eye primer and hey you can use it as your concealer as well i use it around the nose Ooh. i've cracked the case <gasps> you like have. you know it's true love when you are breaking your makeup <laughs> and still using and it, still using it. <laughs> And then my favorite translucent powder at the moment, you guys know I did a whole video, top five, any of those are great. But um, for right now, like what I used today was the Laura Mercier translucent. And as much as I'd like to say like, oh, I only travel with a pressed powder. That's a lie because I'm that girl that's like, no, I like it. Let's, let's it <laughs> I'm there. gonna put it in my bag. Yeah, so that's my favorite. Yeah, I'm in the same boat as you and I oh, have a loose powder. powder. <laughs> the powder that I've been using a lot lately is the Tarte Smooth Operator. Like it's full on like it's like coming you off. Love that. Like I really I heart heart you it heart a lot. It. Um it's a really good one. It's uh the Smooth Operator Micronized <laughs> clay finishing powder. Sounds good to me. Really really good. Um just at uh, keeping everything in set. place, set locked to your face and then for concealer another drugstore find. This is the L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Concealer. And this one I have been using like nonstop, basically. Like, really? yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with it. It covers any blemishes really nicely without using a ton of product. Mm -hmm. You know those ones where you have to like, like put it on and like, on. and you're like nothing. Yeah. And then you put it on again and you're like, ah. Oh. Yeah, five so. layers later. <laughs> <laughs> this is too much. Yes. So this is really nice for that. So yeah, that's my So I yes. Moving on. The rest of the face is right here. I should probably depot and put into like a Z palette eventually. Um, some items like these, highlighter, bronzer, blush because those are for me I know that's like very high maintenance but it's but like it's, I have to yeah we're, we're girly to. girls you know this is a beauty channel so the Becca bronzer I'm really into the shadow and so light pretty. this is what I'm wearing right now and it just gives you a very natural looking bronze to the skin and I actually like to use this on my shoulders and like neck Color. area as well nice little glow um, and because when I'm traveling I like to really like go with the situation. So if I know I'm gonna be looking kind of shiny and I'm out and about, I'm like, well, why not just like strobe up my whole face and be like glowing and just like, you know, embrace what's happening. Yeah. Does that make sense? Right. Right. You're already, you already got so, the whole glow on, you know, yeah. might as well just expand on it. Expand on it with a blush that's a little bit glowy. This is from Hourglass, really pretty pink. And this is the Luminous Flush in Ambient. It's really pretty. I love this one. And then I also always bring some type of a really solid, intense, pressed uh, highlighter because I actually like to use this on my eyes as well. This is from Physicians Formula and these are just beautiful, beautiful colors. I've been using this forever. This That's is a, beautiful. a new one because I, if you've been on my channel for any length of time, you know I go through these and it's just a gorgeous highlight on the cheek or again for eyeshadow. So I have a couple. So I have the, um, Giorgio Armani Liquid Summer, and I've talked about this in a number of my videos because I'm kind of obsessed with it. I want to try that it's one so, so bad. Oh, I love it so much. It's a uh, it's such a good summer, like liquid it's summer. It's a spendy item. It is a very spendy it's item. It's one of those like magic, right? It's ma and you don't need a lot. Like it's gonna last like a long mm -hmm. time. Um, and you can use it in a lot of different ways. So one is like, and don't judge my beauty blender. It's really <laughs> I used it today. I didn't have time to like clean it. All right, let's. Move Moving on. on. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll either combine this with my um, one of my many foundations, um, and then you just get that nice sort of like glowy bronze look. Or what you can do is apply it to your hand and sort of dip like a beauty blender or some mm -hmm, form whatever. of that, whatever sponge you have, and sort of like press it into like around your face, and you get this nice like warm glow just thing going healthy. on. Yeah, just the healthy look. Exactly. It's not sparkly or anything mm -hmm. like that. It's got that just nice sheen like that nice glowy sheen where you're like oh you've been to the beach this Hello. looks nice yeah. i love that yeah um and then the other product i use is um this is like a two-in-one um talked about it in our video on my mm -hmm. channel and this is the tarte fearless cheek stain this is really good because you can apply it to your lips you can apply it to your cheeks um i apply it with the beauty blender just because i find that i get a nice sort of like airbrushed look when i apply it and it's just a nice two-in-one product i think this one smells nice this does Isn't almost it? like yeah. Like very faint, but you can it's very it faint, but it's a little florally sweet. Yeah. So I have one more. Um, this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And this one is, I've just been using it a lot lately. It's just one of those products that's just going to lock everything on your face. Mm -hmm. It's just a good staple, especially when I'm coming from like, not colder climates. Like it's not really cold and like 
Ontario, Canada, but um, it's very hot and it's very like sweltering out. So this is a really good one to keep your makeup on. I like face. that one it's a really lot. I do have a setting spray as well that I like to travel with. The Kula one, you guys are so sick of me talking about this. It's fine, whatever. This has SPF 30, so you really shake it up. It has hyaluronic acid. It has ingredients to help your makeup last all day, and you just give your face a good douse, and it's like sunscreen. Lock it into place. Plump the skin. So I have been Everything. loving this. All in one product. All in one. And then I do really love this M yes. Cosmetics. This is good the one. contour stick. This is the most natural contour stick ever. It blends in. Like you just like go like this and then you're like, oh, blend it in. Done. It's really good. Um, I everyone love that one. has been like, oh, it's not good. But really? You know what? You are missing out if you don't believe me. <laughs> it's not sponsored. I love this. Look how much I've used. That's a lot. And that's like think lot. about how much product we use. Like to you to go through. That's significant. That's beautiful. Waterproof mascara. This is the MAC Giga Lash. Giga Black Lash, Jaclyn Hill recommended this, so I bought it. And I actually like using this on the top lashes oh, as well. I like it. What's your mascara? Um, mine is the Roller Lash by Benefit. That's I really, really like this one. one. Oh, it's so one. good. Especially if you have stick straight lashes like I do. This will like, you can use it with the curling, whatever these things are called, I'm eyelash curler. Yeah. Oh. So it just lifts them all up. Really yes. good. And I always like to pick one palette that is like the versatile one palette that I can go to so I'm not like shuffling through everything. Mm -hmm. And this is from Becca. This is the Ombre Eyes. These are more cool toned, which is what I'm into at the moment. And then I'll just take, you know, my highlighter for a little bit of pop of, you know, shine or wherever I need that. So for liners, I've been using the Kat Von D ink liners. So I've been using the color Hemingway and Nerdrum. Mm. These two colors. Because I like sometimes using just like a regular brown. I just feel because I'm very pale, the dark brown just works better for me. Um, and then the other one is this dark sort of a blue liner, which is beautiful. Yes. Oh my gosh, I love this. It's dark enough that you feel like it's not too like vibrant. If you're like, you want to like, try oh, something. Neon. Oh, hey. Which is great. Eyes. That's like fun for sometimes, but like sometimes you also want to have something that's like no. very like subtle. And it's like, oh, do you yeah. have blue? Do you not? I don't know. So that's kind of a nice little um, extra thing that I throw in there. That's just because Perfect. I like makeup. You don't need that one, yeah. but it's fun. Um, and then I just threw in the uh, Lorac Pro Palette, um, which is one of my faves and <laughs> broke the mirror. <gasps> I know. Ooh. So busted. So busted. Um, still but gonna use it. <laughs> still gonna use it. But it's nice and thin and it's just, I don't know, I find that very portable, especially because my bag is so giant, but like, you know, you want to make sure yeah. it's like thin. It's so just like very it's little, good. you know? So, um, yeah, I think that's everything. Well, yeah. Okay, I only have two more items, which mm. is my brow is from Anastasia. I'm back in that game. Mm. This is medium brown. So for brows, I'm also into the whole Anastasia stuff. This is the um, dip brow pomade and this is in taupe. And I've been obsessed with this. I love that obsessed yes. it's so it really good. is so good oh so i've been using that do you have lip products oh yeah oh oh my you need lip products gosh you have to have lip products what yep. am i thinking uh -huh. okay i'm fired i only have two because if i'm traveling i do try to keep things pretty basic so i like to have a good neutral gloss whether it's a nudie pink or more pink pink just something that's very daytime and this one from sugar is really moisturizing so I do find if I'm traveling on a plane, my lips dry out and it's a constant battle. So I like to have something that is very moisturizing. And then I like to have a color option lately I because do too. I'm kind of into that at the moment. Yeah. And After Dark, surprise, surprise, is like the favorite right now that I like cannot get enough of. I am so sorry. I go through these phases where I'm just like, I don't see anything else in my collection. I'm like, hmm, this one again, you know? So, <laughs> again, again. Yeah, it's, it's on repeat right now. And then um, I have my uh, Ultra Lip Therapy First Aid Beauty product. It's like almost out. And I'm so sad I need to go get a new one. Um, this is really, really good for dry really? lips, especially off planes. I really, really like this one. And then for color, I've been really liking the NARS. Um, this is in, oh my gosh, I'm going to pronounce this incorrectly. Shiap. Shop? How do you pronounce that? Shop? Shop? Shop. Well, we don't know. Shop. We don't know. It'll be in the info bar probably. At Holy some point. shop. We don't know. <laughs> Go. <laughs> but it's like a super like pretty Ew! bright pink. I was not expecting it to I be know. that bright. Bam. Bam. So this is just a really nice color for summer. And I felt it was very like LA and yeah. bright and yeah, like that's fun. that's like so. the quickest way to take your daytime like beach vibey look to like, oh, I'm out to dinner. 
lipstick. Yep. Lipstick. Bam. Done. Done. <laughs> Yep. I think we got, did we go right. through everything? Yeah, we went through everything. Everything. No more Success. left. Hooray. All right, so if this was not enough for you and you need more tips on traveling, which we have some excellent ones that go further than just makeup, then hop on over to Rachel's channel and, you know, watch the video, <laughs> leave a comment, subscribe while you're there. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for um, coming all the way from Canada. Yeah. To, Thank you for having me. And you're like, visit me. <laughs> just, just, just for Tati. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, again, I hope you're having a good one and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Mwah. Mwah.